It's the holidays at Disney. And we're going on a coast to coast adventure. Hey everybody, I'm Alan. And I'm Molly. With Mammoth Club and the holidays have just kicked off here in Disney. We are going to both the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World and Disneyland Park at the Disneyland Resort to show you the best of the holidays across the coast. We're kicking things off here at the Magic Kingdom at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and we got a lot to do. There's a lot of cookies to eat. So many cookies. All of the cookies. Multiple times. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is a separate hard-ticketed event here at the Magic Kingdom starting early November all the way through the end of the year. It features special entertainment in the form of parades, special meet and greets, as well as some holiday overlays on some of your favorite attractions. While the hard ticket event does start at 7 p.m., you can actually get in a little bit early at 4 p.m. using that hard ticket, and it runs until midnight. Ticket prices for this event vary based on the date. They start around $150 and go all the way up to $200 with weekends, and the closer you get to actual Christmas, getting more expensive. We purchased our tickets through our friends at Undercover Tourist and saved about $8 a ticket to come to this event. Now keep in mind, this is a very popular event. This is the first time it's been back in three years, so many dates are already sold out. So if you're interested in attending the party, I'd get your tickets as soon as possible. When you first come in the park, be sure to pick up your wristband for the event, as well as the ornament that is provided this year. However, if you're already in the park for the day, there are designated spots to pick up your wristband throughout the park, so don't forget to do that as well as pick up the special Christmas party map. First, we are going to ride Jingle Cruise before the party officially starts. The Jingle Cruise is one of five holiday overlays you can find in the Magic Kingdom, and it is the only one that runs all day long. The other four are Space Mountain, the Tomorrowland Speedway, Monsters Incorporated Laugh Floor, and the Mad Tea Party. The Jingle Cruise, in my opinion, is the best overlay here at Walt Disney World, however, because all of the boats have Christmas-themed names, the skippers tell Christmas and holiday-themed jokes, and there are actual Santa hats and things on the animals on the attraction as well. Obviously, when we get to Disneyland, we will see some incredible holiday overlays, but for now, it's time to cruise. As you can see, we have a very large variety of reindeer this holiday season. <laughs> Over there, we got the long neck reindeer. Okay. We have the reindeer that kills the uh, <laughs> We have the reindeer with the extra horn. And we have our oldest sleeping black and white reindeer. And every skipper should go down with their boat. Okay, so my friend right here, what's your name? All right, Zoe is the skipper now. She's a skipper. Everybody looks like a skipper, just Zoe. I love the Jingle Cruise. I love the Jungle Cruise all the time, but I especially love the Jungle Cruise holiday flair. It's just so nice to hear the different jokes. I mean, they're always going to be terribly funny, but holiday puns are the best puns. Jingle Cruise, for sure, my number one overlay, uh, especially because you can get it done before the park officially closes for the holiday event. But you know what's next? Snacks. A hot dog. Why? This is what? What is that? So, it is a hot dog with funnel cake stuffing, cranberry mustard, and cheese curds. What? Why? Why not? Alright, well you're, you got that one. Blur that out. I like it. And it shouldn't be good. But it is. Honestly, the saltiness of the hot dog is offset by the cranberry mustard. I'm still working out the funnel cake stuffing. I can take it or leave that. The cheese curds, though, are really good. Um, as I'm sure you'll recognize. It's a nice curd. It's just balanced. I don't think... I did not expect I would like it. And here I am liking it. Ooh, I like the stuffing. Right? I can see this might be good if you like hot dogs. I'm here for you, hot dog people. If you don't like hot dogs and you want a savory holiday treat, might I recommend the tamale over in Frontierland. Both of these treats are available all day long, so you don't have to be at the party. They're a good way to fuel up before it gets going. It's almost party time, so we've made our way into Tomorrowland to tackle the holiday overlay at Space Mountain. It looks so cool all lit up with beautiful holiday colors. Is it? It is. <laughs> And uh, Space Mountain during the party only has holiday lights going on inside. It's got a holiday soundtrack. Think Mannheim Steamroller-esque. I'm sorry, Tron is going by. Oh my.
my gosh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Wow, anyway, the party isn't even officially started yet, but they're letting people board Space Mountain, so we're gonna kick off the fun right now. Space Mountain is? What? You can see the track because of the lights. I think Holiday Space Mountain is so much fun. The lights, the music, it's a whole new vibe in there. Definitely a priority for me at the party. It reminds me why I spend the entire attraction in the tornado drill position. That's not safe, don't do that. Don't do that. And now we're gonna get our first of, I assume, many holiday snacks. I am going to have enough cookies to pay for my ticket. <laughs> and uh, then maybe go on a little holiday speedway jaunt. Perfect. Cookies and go-karts. <laughs> I'm literally 12. <laughs> One of the best perks of the Christmas party is the free cookies, which you can find in five locations, as evidenced by the candy cane float-looking markers, as well as on your map of the park. They offer a variety of cookies that are different at each of the locations, as well as a different holiday beverage. You can get cookies like snickerdoodles, chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, and then beverages like apple cider, hot cocoa, and eggnog. And I want to try all of them. Show us what we got, Vanna. From the lunch and pack, we have a buttercream sugar cookie and cider. Next up, we're gonna go ride the Tomorrowland Speedway because it has a holiday overlay. Did you know I'm really good at driving these cars? Like, so good. All right, let's see it. Yeah, you'll be impressed. Something. Told you I was very good at it. Yeah. Cookie? Cookie. What do you got there? The best cookie at the party, the snickerdoodle and the cocoa. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm in a good place. After cookies, cookies, and more cookies, it's time to grab a spot for the fireworks. I'm so excited. Me too, I love fireworks. The perimeter ones are always just so much fun to watch. I have to agree, and I love Christmas music, and I love that Minnie gets to host. The hostess with the mostest. It's time for one of the main events at the party, Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks. These are special fireworks you can only see at the party, as well as their run for regular day guests around the week of Christmas. During the event, they start at 10 p.m. You don't usually need to get to a good spot too early, as there's a lot of room in the hub, and this is a limited capacity event. They do go a little bit broader than your standard fireworks, though, so I recommend standing kind of at the top of Main Street, um, up towards the back of the hub. If you're past Walt Disney, I think you're a little too close. Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks are hosted by none other than the fabulous Minnie Mouse and feature a variety of holiday classic songs, projections on Cinderella Castle, and of course, beautiful fireworks.
I know. I'm sorry. We're supposed to be doing the fireworks review, but they put on the Instinct Holiday album, and Which I'm is, legally I mean, required to sing. Legally? It's like that and Mariah Carey. I have to sing. You're contractually bound. It is my 90s nostalgic girl heart. I am contractually obligated. This I, feels... It was in a tiger beat. I, can't, oh. I don't know what to tell you. This feels disadvantageous for you. No, it's fine. It's it's everyone's lucky now. Um, <laughs> the fireworks. Yeah, those, those things we just saw. <laughs> Minnie is the hostess with the mostest. Love everything that she does. Uh, Tinkerbell surprised me when she flew. It's beautiful. Love to see her. Beautiful. I really like that song, When We're Together, from the Frozen Holiday Special. I also really like that they use Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time. Sir Paul. You gotta see the fireworks. They're not very long. That's one thing. They're only like right. 15 minutes long, but they're really fun. They're beautiful. We came up like 10 minutes before they started and got a great spot towards the back of the hub. So, uh, more cookies and a parade soon. And I hear, secret, Santa's here. Santa. I know him. I know him. After eating a few more cookies and going to meet the host himself, we're headed to get a spot for Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade starting at 8.30 and 11 p.m. I actually recommend going to the 11 p.m. showtime because it's significantly less crowded, and especially if you want to see your pals Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, Goofy, as well as Vanilla B. Von Schweetz and Wreck-It Ralph. You also get to see your favorite princesses on their beautiful castle. It's just a wonderful parade, one of my favorites of all time. And if you can, I recommend getting a spot on Main Street because it does snow as the parade comes by. Magical. part of the fake Christmas party, but it's just hit me in all the feels tonight. What is your favorite part of the parade? Santa. Oh, yeah. Obviously okay, Santa. Okay, so that is the correct answer, but my favorite part is actually the toy soldiers. I do love the toy soldiers. When they soldiers. do their little dance with their little butts. <laughs> all right, we have one thing left to do to complete our Mickey's Very Merry Checklist. Headed to our final piece of merry time fun. This is the Castle Stage Show, Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. This is again the show that happens right in front of Cinderella Castle and it happens four times a night. I personally recommend going to the last show at 11.55 p.m. Most people, especially those families with young kids have gone home by then. Plus with the party ending at midnight, you actually get to stay a little bit later and get some final fun in so you really get to maximize your time at the party. Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration is super fun. It features a lot of favorite Christmas songs, some favorite Christmas characters, but my favorite is an appearance from none other than the legend herself, Moo Raya Derry. Friends, wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. Great to see all our friends on the castle stage tonight. What a good end to an evening. I do enjoy Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and this is a hard ticket event. It's a specially ticketed event, which has its pros and cons. It is an expensive event. However, you do get a little bit more <laughs> exclusivity since it's a limited number of tickets, as opposed to, as you'll see in Disneyland, it's just Christmas there. There's no hard ticketed event. And speaking of Disneyland, I think we gotta go to California. Yeah. Bye, Magic Kingdom. It's been real. We're off to see your sister. We're here at the happiest place on earth to see how Disneyland does their holidays. So excited! <laughs>
All right, let's get going. Ah, uh, Disneyland, it's my favorite park. We're gonna be showing you what Disneyland Park has to offer to compare to Magic Kingdom. So, so excited. They have a special holiday parade, holiday fireworks. There's ride overlays at Small World and Haunted Mansion, and it's all included. There isn't a special ticketed event or anything. This is just Disneyland this time of year. We booked our tickets through Undercover Tourist, which was a three-day park hopper with the Genie Plus edition on each ticket, which saves about $30 a ticket which we're going to use towards snacks and other goodies. My gosh, look at how beautiful Main look Street is. Look how beautiful is. it is. Look, the, the tree is probably bigger than the castle. Oh, oh, and the garland still goes all the way across oh, like it so used to at Magic Kingdom. And Donald's over there. Wait, what? Speaking of ducks. Hello? Hey, guys. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are the odds? I <laughs> in Disneyland? Yeah, specifically. Wow. Of my home, Jealous. Right? Toad <laughs> Hall will be there later, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We found Max. We're going to go celebrate the holidays. We are the gonna, ho ho holidays. We're going to ride Haunted Mansion Holiday. True. We're going to ride Small World Holiday. I'm ready. We're going to cry at the fireworks. Well, some of us, anyway. We're going to all see the fireworks. That's right. There you go. That feels factual. Yay! Okay. Let's do it. We're hanging out. Oh, we're in Disneyland. It's the holidays. Yeah. It's actually Mickey Mouse's birthday. True. So you know what I think we should do first? Ride Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Okay, or... Happy birthday! Birthday. Hey, see ya. Happy birthday. Love your outfit. You look so festive. Holiday ready. Yes. Yeah, we'll do a selfie. Yeah, we'll do a selfie. You have to start out a trip to Disneyland by meeting the big cheese. It's the rule. I liked that he had an M for Mammoth Club on his sweater. Oh, I love that the garland still goes all the way across the street here. Yeah, you don't have tall floats that no might tall take them floats. out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. You can take Festival of Fantasy for that one, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what the best part is? Is when you walk in and you immediately have all of those characters just milling about. That's true. Ugh. You don't see that in Florida. No, not at all. Look at the sweet baby Sleeping Beauty castle. I love it. It is so pretty. She's so petite. Yeah. I can't wait for it to light up at night though because the icicles. I know. Which they don't do that in They're not in doing it in Disney World right now. now, so we'll be back for you, Castle. Right, so we met Mickey. Yep. Yes. What's next? Well, we're at the castle, right through the castle, Fantasyland, yep. and in Fantasyland, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Holiday coffee. Got it. So we went with your thing. Disneyland does this amazing thing where for the holidays they do seasonal cold brews at several of the restaurants. This is the eggnog cold brew from Red Rose Tavern in Fantasyland and couldn't resist getting a classic Disneyland ginger I'll partake in that. Okay, ready, break. <laughs> it's the pretzel all over again. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Really feel bad for you. I'll share some of mine. <laughs> Real tough. It is tasty. Though. It's a very good cookie. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. The Disneyland gingerbread is a classic. You can get it at several quick service locations around the park. They have different shapes. Like this was a three circle Mickey. They also have it in the shape of like Mickey as a gingerbread. It's not super sweet. It's lightly iced. Strong ginger flavor. Bet you wish you had more of it. Wow. All right. So we came to Galaxy's Edge to get holiday treats, but Ran into a couple bounty hunters. Yeah. First, Finnick Shand, certainly, I think, looking to employ us. You are really good at this, uh, making others sound important. Oh, well, I, He's a hype man. I am I am nothing if not a chaotic hype man. Well, let's just say we are looking to fill an open position with an art hospital. Really? We are looking for a new major domo. Oh. oh. I think we may have found He would be very good. Yeah. Mm. Don't let him do anything important, but yeah. hype him up. No, but I'll talk about we all love a little chaos. Yeah. 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 You can speak Shriek. I thought Wookiees were like. Oh, so you speak? Yeah. I didn't want to reveal my talents too quickly, but. Let's let's hear it again. Pretty good. Not bad. Uh, however, need I remind you? Yeah. Turn around. A family friendly environment. Oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that out loud. I shouldn't say that out loud. I'm putting a good word for you all. With Thank, you. Thank you. Thank we'll, you. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. Then we found Mando. Yes. With the child and Boba Fett. Now, 
Molly seems to believe that these are all the same people. Look, Mando's right there. Okay, that's Boba Fett. It's not That's Mando. Mando. That's not... They have the same outfit. Molly, that's Mando. Oh. I understand that she's different. Do you? Yeah, I, she was very cool. I liked her. I would join her team. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you understand that Finnick is different. Yes, and... I can see the difference. <laughs> We try so hard sometimes, <laughs> and in the end, it doesn't even matter. What's most exciting is that Mando and Boba are not mainstays or at all in Disney World, so seeing them is amazing. Yeah, you can normally see Stormtroopers, you can see Kylo over on the other coast, but here we've got Mando's brand new with the child, and Boba, and Finnick Shan, and all kinds of characters. It's very exciting to come to Galaxy's Edge and see some different characters yeah. out and about. Yeah. Can we get popcorn now? Here in Galaxy's Edge West, they have not one, but two different flavors of space popcorn. They have the Outpost mix, but they like to mix it up there. It's not the same one at Disney World that I'm obsessed with. Right now it's chocolate caramel, and they have shock cheese pops grain. You know, named after Shock T, everyone's favorite Jedi Councilman. A fun fact I like to share that I definitely knew this whole time, and I didn't just learn it from Max. So now I'm gonna let you know if either of these are better than my beloved popcorn in Disney World. Ooh. That was nice. Salty, sweet, delicious. Bubble fats over there. That cheese one's pretty good. I don't think I like either one more than the cat tacos in Disney or Disney World, but this cheese one is delicious. And straight out of Jakku, we have the Jakku and corn chili and cheese pie, which is filled with roasted poblano peppers, corn, mozzarella, and then accompanied with a citrus sauce. Okay, let's give it a try. Where's Jakku? Wait, that's where Ray lives. Very good. Wow. That is where Ray lives. I know things. Yep, you do. It is very cheese forward. Just a hint of poblana, but not spicy at all. You just get the fruity flavor of the pepper itself. And then there's a subtle sweetness because of the corn. Overall, it works very well together. Now we dip. Just enough tart of the citrus to break through that. This one doesn't miss. Update. The seasonal hand pie is so good, we went back and got more of them. And now I'm actively mad that Disney World Galaxy's Edge doesn't get treats like this. You should be. Y'all, so we saw Finnick again and she had Boba Fett with her and she brought Boba Fett over to talk to us. And these two are like little kids right now <laughs> because Boba Fett wants to work with us. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm employed. I need a major domo to replace my droid. Well, let me, I mean, the one I need to introduce you is the best of us. The moral center, our guiding light right here. This guy. We are nowhere without this guy. We'd be lost. A mess of chaos. Nothing would ever get done, but he keeps us on track. Truly, the number one. Oh, God. Very impressive. Yeah. yeah. I think you'll fit right in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone in this group speaks Sri Wook? That's me. Wookie. Yes. Well, here's the talent. That, that's what well they say. Done. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. It's quite a Perhaps we'll meet again. Yeah, I, I, hope hope so. So. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have bad news. I have to quit. Now. It's okay. You're going to go work yeah. for Boba Fett. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was really cool. If there's one thing that can follow an incredible character interaction and snack in Galaxy's Edge... It's Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It's Haunted Mansion Holiday. Now, just in case you're not familiar, every year Disneyland actually does an overlay of the Haunted Mansion where it gets totally taken over by the Nightmare Before Christmas. This includes overlays in all of the different scenes. The graveyard scene is totally overtaken by the mountain from Nightmare Before Christmas. And specifically, every year we get a seasonal gingerbread house in the ballroom scene changed every single year. So this is a highlight of the holidays. It runs for both Halloween and Christmas because nobody knows if that movie is a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. And and uh, so we are excited to get to check it out. I haven't seen the gingerbread house this year. It'll be very exciting. I'm excited to go three deep in a doom buggy. I bet you are. I call not middle. You're definitely in the middle. Dang it. It's just so cool. Like the mansion is completely different. It's a completely different ride right now. It's amazing.
Guillotine on the yes, house. It it's awesome. It's just, it's an absolute must do if you're here Halloween or Christmas season. Yeah. Very popular. Use the Lightning Lane if you get Jenny Plus. Don't oh. miss it. I'm in awe when I ride that. It's so, so good and so comfortable when you go three well, grown adults. Yes, three of us in there. I the pinnacle of comfort. Cozy. Yeah. Well, the haunted mansion puts us squarely in Orleans Square. <laughs> Got him. Nice. It's a requirement to get a beignet and a mint julep but with a holiday twist. It's not just the mansion that is decked out for the holiday season. All of New Orleans Square is celebrating. We even saw the Bone Daddy himself, Sandy Claus and Sally. Hello. Oh, thank you. We're matching. I, yes, very good. Well, that one has the ball over on the, on the right Both side. Yes. 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 I like it on the left sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I graduated. So yeah. I <laughs> that is what you do. <laughs> And now we have a treat from the Mint Julep Bar. No longer just the iconic Disneyland beignets. These are maple beignets, special for the holiday, with maple bacon dipping sauce as well. And the Mint Julep got a makeover. It's normally a lime and mint drink, but it's a hibiscus mint and lime drink right now. Oh, yeah. So we tried it, no, no dipping sauce, and this is just a beignet. Uh, it doesn't taste different, but we're hoping, I'm hoping this dipping sauce makes a big difference. Now wait a minute. That's nice. The bacon, as part of the maple, maple bacon dip, cuts through a lot of what could be extremely sickly sweet. Because that's almost a glaze. But that slight smokiness makes a difference. Oh yeah. Mickey beignets are one of my top favorite snacks in Disneyland. I think they're chef's kiss amazing. They're completely different than a donut. They're nice and doughy and fluffy. They've got the powdered sugar. I didn't taste much maple in the actual beignet, but like Max and Alan said, you add that maple flavored bacon dipping sauce and it definitely changes it up. But for me, I actually think I'd stick with the classic just because you can't, you can't beat it. Adds a floral note to it. The mint isn't super strong. I would taste more of the hibiscus and the lime. I, again, personally prefer the classic, but it's always nice to try a holiday variety. I have to point out this one other little detail before we head out of New Orleans Square. So at Disneyland, there are these special little guys that make the popcorns. They're called Roasty Toasties. Now, they're not at every popcorn cart, but they are at some, and it's just one of those classic quintessential Disneyland things. Normally, this one is a grave digger because it's outside Haunted Mansion, but this time of year, it's a little oogie boogie. I'm oogie boogie man. Dusk has fallen here at Disneyland. Main Street is all lit up. It's absolutely beautiful. Taking in the sights and sounds of Main Street, the Dapper Dans are performing outside of Walt Disney's apartment, which has a little Christmas tree, the garland and the tree and the castle, and everything's all lit up. And we are getting ready for the Christmas parade. The parade here at Disneyland is called a Christmas Fantasy Parade, and it runs two times daily, typically 3.30 and 6.30. Yeah, and if you are watching this parade and it's running twice daily, it actually will run in two different directions. The first parade will run from the Small World Gate up to the front of the park, and the second parade will run from the front of the park back to the Small World Gate. That's because there's actually not clearance for the parade floats to drive backstage back to where they started. So they have to run it both ways.
Greetings, toys. Happy holidays. Everyone, what do you think? Buzz was in it. It's true. Point to Disneyland because Buzz is not in the Disney World parade. Otherwise, they're mostly the same. Yeah, yeah. You, you got your reindeer, you got your toy soldiers, snowmen. Yeah, you got your your Frozen section, your Mickey and Minnie, your Santa Claus. Yeah, they're gonna warm your heart no matter which one you see. It's true. If you enjoy a uh, Christmas parade, you enjoy both of them. Yeah. I, I also, though, got to give a point to Disney World for the snow. True. The snow. No snow. No, the snow on Main Street is a nice touch, but yeah. I'll, I'll never be mad about it. With joy and Christmas spirits in our heart, we are going to head to see Sleeping Beauty Castle, all lit with magical lights, which is something that you won't find in Walt Disney World because Cinderella Castle will not be lit with lights with their 50th decorations on the castle. I'm not bitter about that. It's a beaut clock in the beaut. We caught the little castle lighting show. It happens once or twice a night. And it's nothing that you should go out of your way to see, but it's a sweet little song number and then they light up the castle all pretty. And if you're already staring at the castle for many minutes like we are, you might as well check it out. But for now, we're headed to another gorgeous light display that you can't see anywhere else. Another one of the iconic Disneyland holiday stops is the Small World Overlay. Outside on the facade, you have tons of holiday lights that are making it just absolutely stunning. And now the holiday fun at Small World doesn't stop with just the lights across the display. There's actually a uh, projection show that sort of goes every 10, 15 minutes throughout the evening. All these beautiful projections. And then inside the attraction, you also have a holiday overlay throughout the ride as well. So all throughout small world in Disneyland you're gonna see holiday fun and again it is an absolute icon of the season you've got to make sure you take time to check it out if you're here It's like Christmas threw up in there. It is just true. like so Christmassy and so wonderful and it's so Disney and quintessentially just like Disney magic. Plus in Disneyland, they've added in Disney characters in the small world Mary Blair style into the countries they'd be in. So you've got like Peter Pan and Alice in the United Kingdom. You've got Lilo and Stitch in Hawaii. You've got Jesse and Woody out on the Wild Wild West. And it's just like a really sweet thing to look for. And so I really like that when you ride Small World out here. Yep, I personally, in the holiday version, I noticed this ride that they changed in the under the sea aerial section. They changed Jingle Bells to Jingle Shells, which I thought was that nice. That is really so, nice, that is nice. Yeah, I like that, I like that. What was your favorite part? I have to shout out, when they reopened for this overlay, they actually added two dolls and wheelchairs. And I think that's just, that's gonna stay permanently. They're gonna add it to Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney World next year, Disney said. But I just think that's a very nice, inclusive touch that, frankly, I'm surprised it took that long to get into Small World. Sure. <laughs> Personally, I love the Aladdin and Jasmine flying carpet scene, and there's this one Small World character who is hanging off the end of their flying carpet, <laughs> very cool. which yeah. is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so, overall, even if you skip Small World and Walt Disney World, don't skip it here, especially not oh, this time of year. Definitely not during the holidays. It's just stunning. Stunning. Molly, why are we here? We are in Alien Pizza Planet in Tomorrowland, which is somewhere I would normally never tell you to eat for two reasons. One, they have a holiday charcuterie pizza, and I wanted to eat it. And two, they have a holiday alien macaron that they sold out of. So now I'm here making us eat mediocre pizza. Except for, I think this is gonna be really good. No, no shot this is good. Yeah, no yeah, Not even a chance that this is a good piece of pizza. All that's on the menu 
is disappointment. This is just seasonal disappointment. So, the reason I wanted the pizza is a charcuterie pizza, and I love charcuterie boards, and I love pizza, and I, I mean, it looks better than Disney World puffy pizza. All right, so my pizza has a pesto cream sauce that's somehow nut-free. The chef was as amazed as we were. Fig marmalade, prosciutto, capicolo, Spanish chorizo, caramelized onions, uh, cheese blend, arugula, and little mini pickles. So, in theory, it should be amazing. And so the influencer takes the seasonal pizza. Taking a bite, she stares into the distance and seems a bit perplexed, actually. Almost as if it's just slightly above mid. Seemingly going back for seconds, looking to find a way to give it some redemption and losing a bit of greens in her teeth. It's not bad. Oh, declaring to the world it is not, in fact, mid. My only real complaint about this particular pizza is the crust. The cheese blend definitely has gorgonzola in it, um, because it's got kind of that funkiness that you get from gorgonzola or a blue cheese. There's nice saltiness from all of the meat, a little bit of crispness um, from the baby pickles. Again, it's not better than like Bengal barbecue or getting a chimichanga, but for theme park pizza, it's not terrible. Oh my God, him, he's so cute. Look how cute he is. I almost don't want to eat it, but I'm gonna. So we're headed back to a different spot to watch fireworks, and I'm sorry, is that Clarabelle Cow on a stage? Oh, so we're gonna drop. Emma, Emma, we're clapping a circle. Back to our swings. Here we go. We are headed to watch the Christmas fireworks. And we aren't headed back to Main Street. We are actually headed over back towards It's a Small World. There are projections with these fireworks, and they project them not only down Main Street, but also on It's a Small World. It's a great viewpoint for the fireworks, and it's way less crowded. So there's a little tip for whenever you see the fireworks here. No better way to end a day at Disneyland than with fireworks. It's the icon, truly. And this really is a good spot to watch them. There's far less people. We walked up just a few minutes before and had a great spot. Yeah. And you don't miss the projections. I think that's the big thing. If you were worried about missing projections on the castle, you won't. There are actually going to be at least a subset of them on its small world. It's a little bit different. It's not the full like surround you right. kind of main street, but you still get to see the whole show. And I mean, this is iconic Disneyland. If you're looking for something a little bit different than like main street projections, you're not going to see small world projections in Magic Kingdom. That's right. true. The day is done. You all have spent holidays now on both coasts. Yes. I've been happy to get to join you all for this one. What would you say your favorite part of the Disneyland holiday adventure? Oh, that's was? so hard. Mm. Haunted Mansion holiday. It's just, it's, you can't beat it. It's you hard to beat. can't beat it. It is incredible. It takes a ride I've ridden a million times and it completely changes it. The first time I rode it, I cried because I was like, this is what it's like to ride Haunted Mansion for the first time. It's yeah. just so cool. I'm gonna say it's a small world holiday. Yeah. The overlay yeah. is incredible. It's classic. I love anything made by Mary Blair. It's just so good. I'm going with those hand pies. That's uh, true. That's true. I mean, listen, That's true. This is Galaxy's speaking Edge. as a local. I, I mean, I've done Haunted Mansion Holiday a lot. I've done Small World That's a lot. True. But we love a seasonal treat, especially one that bangs. That, and that, that hand pie. That was. The, oh, so the surprise treat. Yeah, of, the only disappointment the about it was it's going to go away. At <laughs> some point, it'll go away. It forever, right? yeah. I also want to shout out the gingerbread cookie because that was like oh, simple, was really classic, must do yeah. holiday treat. High quality. Yeah, for sure. This time of year is special no matter which coast you're on. At Magic Kingdom, you've got the special ticketed Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party where you get as many cookies as you'd like, the overlay at Jungle Cruise and Space Mountain. Yeah, Disneyland, of course, you've got Haunted Mansion Holiday. You've got the Small World overlay and a ton of seasonal snacks. And at both, you're going to get a great parade and fireworks. So it's really just fantastic on both coasts. 
Thank you so much to Undercover Tours for sponsoring this holiday challenge. If you are looking to save a little bit of money on your tickets, Alan and I bought our Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party tickets as well as our Disneyland tickets to them. They also have Universal tickets. Some people don't realize that Undercover Tours also does discounted hotel accommodations, both on-site and off-site at Disney World and Disneyland. We booked our off-site Disneyland accommodations through them, and we have a Disney World hotel review coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And you can save a little bit on gate prices and use that money towards things like snacks. They also have a 365 day refund on most of their tickets. So if your plans change, you have a little bit of flexibility that way. That is a wrap for our coast to coast holiday challenge. Thank you all so much for following along. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. Make sure to ring that bell and follow us on all of our socials. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. I'm Max. And I'm Alan. And it's been so magical. Bye. Bye. Y'all want to ride Mr. Toad? Yes. Yes. Now you can turn off for. You know, oh. only one. Oh, boy, let me give you a tour. Indeed, let's go. Oh, look at those sheep. We'll just go take a look. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. That's Mr. Winky. Mr. Winky. Never in my life have I got this before. Oh, my God. 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 Incredible. I loved it. <laughs>